Hey guys, Psycho Revolution here, and welcome to my Gmon Machinima Guide. You're watching episode 15. This one's part two, basically, of the last one. The last one we filmed with some green screens in Gary's Mod. Now we need to bring it to our editing program and key out the green. So let's have a little fun. Let's learn something. Let's head on over there. All right, here we are in Sony Vegas Pro 11. I had been using 9, I'm using 11 in this episode, so it looks a little different. It should be basically the same as yours. Now, I've blown up the preview screen so we can see what's going on easily, and here are our three... I'm Batman. And here are our three... screens. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where's our reader? Okay. <coughs> uh. Um, where was I? Sorry. Here are three screens we've got. This is the one from GM Construct. Then we have this one from the Chroma Green Screen map. And lastly, we have this one which was done on location, we'll say, with the miniature green screen. So if you look here, that one's decent. This one is too bright. You can already tell that. And the white highlights look really weird. And this one's dark and it seems to fit. So let's remove the green. Hopefully Sony Vegas does not crash. So you could do this to do it individually. I'm just going to chroma key them all. So I'm just going to do this entire track. A track, eh, a track FX. Look at that. It's already here. But I'll do it again. Chroma Keyer. Now, here's a look a little bit different if you don't have 11, but it's the same thing. Just a different UI. We're going to pick the eyedropper and pick this color. So now we already got rid of most of it. Now we just need to fine tune it here. And one thing you need to keep in mind is your preview quality. You want it to be best because it's going to look different best full really you want it to look you don't want it to look different you want it to look how it's going to render and you're, you shouldn't be rendering in auto because then it's pixelated so you want it to be in best full even if it's going to be slow you're, you're just staying on one still so your computer should be able to handle it even if you have a wooden computer or whatnot so we're going to go to show mask only to make sure this is precise you can see here you have the grayness and that means it's not keyed out completely there as this one goes up that means that this stuff isn't being keyed actually it's being keyed out right now so you just want the whole figure to be white so let's bring that down to where it was See if this needs moved. It looks good where it is. Let's move down the high a little bit. See how it looks. Blur never really works well in Vegas. It's not a very good keyer, really, compared to other ones. Let's put that blur right there. Okay, so. Before or after? Before or after. What does zero look like? Can't even tell. Anyway, if you do have After Effects, it has a great chroma keying. It's a plug, not a plugin, it's built in. It's called Keylight, I think one, two or something. It's called Keylight and it's the best keyer that I've ever used. But we're doing it in Vegas because most people don't have After Effects. So now these three are keyed. We can see the difference here. This one looks decent. This is the GM construct. The shadows on his face are kind of weird. The one on the chroma key map is way too bright. Doesn't fit in. You can, it's, well at least I can clearly tell that this has been green screened. And the white highlights really give it away. But when you go to the one that was shot on set on this map, you can see that the lighting is perfect. Everything looks as it should. So, if you want something to look like it belongs, you need to green screen it in the map where it's going to be, so the lighting is spot on. 
I think that concludes this tutorial. Sorry about that Batman outbreak. It won't happen again. I promise you. Stay sexy. Hey guys! Uh, uh, oh, I'm dying.